to get to see their person-to-person -person skills was remarkable. And you're remi I said on the air, I was reminded of, of just how President Obama won twice. I mean, he's just one of the most effective communicators and connectors. But two, he spoke to the cynicism with the pace of change. He talked about voting as though it was like dieting or working out and thinking you're going to look like the rock. He said, I get it. I get it. It doesn't have that payout. But then the third thing he said was, imagine what's possible. We didn't have 60% turnout, but imagine if we had 80. I mean, he, he just manages to go right at the problem, which I guess in, in, in the strategic assessment is, is cynicism or, or a, a reluctance to turn out. And then talk about what's possible. What would you think if you had a chance to watch that event? Yeah, well, I mean, I think what I was really reminded of was President Obama's community activist roots. Uh, he's speaking right. to, uh, you know, right. a group of black men in a community, right, that, that had not, ne I mean, whose circumstances don't necessarily change or they don't feel like their circumstances change regardless of who is president. And so him making the case to those voters is really about framing this election in terms of what it's going to mean for them as opposed to making it about either of the two candidates. Like, what's in it for me? is really what people in these types of communities need to hear. And, uh, you know... Aaron, this, to your point, uh, he's it, just no grabbed a bullhorn. Should we listen? As you, want. you can have all the digital as you want. But at the end of the day, people connect with people. And obviously, this is an extraordinary election because we're in the midst of a pandemic. And we've got to make sure that we're everything safely, which is the only reason I'm not hugging and squeezing this cutie pie, because I'm trying to model good hygiene, but nevertheless, you know, folks seeing your effort out there is going to be inspiring. Don't be discouraged. You'll get some folks who say, well, I'm not going to vote. You'll get some folks who will be distracted or too busy or what have you, but for, for, the, for this community to see all of you making this effort, you know, that's the kind of spirit that ultimately is going to make a difference in this election in these next 12 days. So I want to just say thank you on behalf of Joe, on behalf of Kamala, on behalf of all the candidates up and down the ticket, because I want to make sure people remember this is not just an election about a president. This is going to determine the Pennsylvania state legislature. This is going to determine a whole bunch of local offices that have a real impact on the community right here. And you know, I got my start probably about Simone's age out there. I was not as together and organized as she was, but I got my start working in a community just like this. And, you know, I didn't change the world overnight, but it's, it's each of us making that effort in a consistent way that when you add that all together, can be all the difference as to whether we got health care in this country, whether or not we've got a criminal justice system that is free of racial bias, whether or not we do things, do something about climate change, whether we give a better world to a young person like this one. It's, it's these little steps that you're taking that make all the difference. And for that, I could not be prouder. Uh, and you all look very good in your masks, by the way. I have to say that because of my ears, this actually accentuates how big my ears are. Because it kind of it pulls it forward, and, and so they really look like I could just take off at any time. But this is what we have to do is to make sure that you know, even as we're campaigning, we're also mindful that we want to keep our communities safe and healthy, particularly communities like this one that so often are not getting the protections, don't have all the health care resources, et cetera, uh, that they need, and, and which is why they've been disproportionately impacted. All right? So anyway, main message I got, I love you, especially you, sweetie pie. And if you just work as hard as you can over these next 12 days, I'm confident we're going to have a good outcome. We're going to have Joe Biden as the next president of the United States. The next vice president. And we're going to be able to restore the kind of spirit of hope and change and possibility 
that uh, we all believe in. All right, guys? Love you. Thanks, guys. There was former President Obama there, um, the bullhorn. I always stop for presidents with the bullhorn. Uh, he stopped by a voter mobilization event. Uh,